In this video, we're going to go through a short little example to show how downcasting can be applied. Now before we get into this, we want to make sure we understand a couple things in the setup. The first thing that we want to make sure we understand is that if we go into the animal class, we see that the animal class is not abstract right now. It's just class animal, and we also see that lion and sheep both extend animal. The second thing that's important to know right now is that the protect method appears in both animal, lion, and sheep. And so what that means is that protect is a polymorphic method. So now if we come back to our animal runner, we see we have two objects to find. The important thing to distinguish here is the type reference and the type object. The type of reference in line 16 is a lion, and the object reference is to a lion. The type reference in line 17 is animal, and the object reference is a lion. So since protect is a polymorphic method, and we know the correct method is chosen because in Java, methods or calls are always determined by the type of the actual object, not the type of the object reference. Currently, this program works fine. Polymorphism is being applied. However, let's change this slightly. And let's remove the protect method from the animal class. Now the problem is, is that protect is no longer a polymorphic method because it is not defined in both the superclass and the subclass. So now if I go into Animal Runner and I build this, we have a problem. We have specifically what's called a type compatibility problem. Lion 2 is looked at as, a, as an animal reference type. And the problem is that polymorphism no longer applies because protect isn't a polymorphic method. So what I'm going to do is downcast Lion 2 to the appropriate, to the appropriate class where that method appears, which happens to be Lion. In a sense, we're reassuring the compiler because we're saying, hey, we know that the type of object of line 2 is a lion, and I know that in fact there is a protect method. So if I come down to this line here, and when we cast, we have to be sure to put that in brackets, and we cast line 2 to type lion, and I build this, I've now solved that problem through downcasting. So really, if you, if you use polymorphic methods, and polymorphic methods can be used both in abstract classes and non-abstract classes, um, downcasting doesn't, isn't needed. However, if you're dealing with a situation where you have a type reference that doesn't match a type object, we might have to put some downcasting into play. I hope that helped.